Hey, how is going? Adam here. In this video, we're gonna make a wireless night vision camera with the help of a Raspberry Pi and a fake camera enclosure. Let's get into it. First thing, let's work on the enclosure. I use a fake CCTV camera which cost just $10 from Amazon. Let's take it apart. If you use the same camera, you will find this connector. Cut it and save it, we're gonna use it later. Inside, I found this part on which I will be able to mount all our components. Remove the fake lens and make a test if the camera fits well. Now let's make the base for our components. For this project I use a Raspberry Pi W. Having a small footprint and wireless connectivity made it perfect for this project. I already have a case for it so I use a plate for that and 4 screws which I run them through the base. With that done let's take the connector that we removed earlier and solder it to the power in pins on the Pi. This will allow us to extend the reach of the USB port so we can mount it in the back of the camera. For the extension I used this micro USB cable on which I cut the male part and stripped the wires. Keep just the red and black wire and solder the other part of our connector to it. Now let's just make a test and see if it works. If it does we can go further with the build and mount the rest of the components. For the camera sensor, I use a night vision fisheye for Raspberry Pi Zero. It is different than the Pi 2 and 3 in that, that it has a slimmer band connector. In order to have a snug fit, I have to remove a millimeter from the plastic ring and with some hot glue fix it in place. Now let's connect the camera to the Pi. Now it's pretty much done, all we need to do is mount it in our enclosure. But first we need to do some modification to the case. Let's mount the USB connector we modified earlier. We need to make a hole for it to fit, so for that I used a Dremel with a file head and made room for the connector to fit perfectly. With some hot glue fix it in place and we are done. Now it's time to install the software on our camera. Take the SD card and plug it into your PC. We're gonna install Motion Eye. It's an open source camera software which will bring a lot of features. Download the version specific to your Pi. The links will be in the description. Unzip it and with Win32 Disk Imager burn the image to your SD card and it's done. Plug it back into the Pi and let's go to the next step. For our night vision camera to actually see in the dark, we need these infrared lights which will have to mount into the sides of our camera. I use the Dremel cutting disc to cut two grooves into the side and make a test fit. Now let's solder some wires to each pins. Make the same for the other side. Fit the wires to the slots we made them and fix them in place with hot glue. I didn't like the see-through look of the camera mount so I spray painted black. Let's start the final assembly. Connect the power to the Pi and slide it inside the enclosure. All that is need to do now is to solder the wires and put everything back together. Our camera is done and all we need to do is to mount it outside. I made a stencil with the hole positioning and drilled through the wall. After that, I screwed the mount to the wall and fixed the camera in place. Now in order to have power to it, we will need this 10 meters micro USB cable, which it was enough for me but your use case might be different. I made a hole through the wall in order to insert the cable and mount it to the wall. Plug it in and it's done. We can now connect to the motion eye and make the configurations you want. Here you can make any modifications you want. I found that 800x600 is the perfect resolution for this camera. It has the biggest field of view. You can set the camera to record based on motion. The files will be stored on the SD card of the camera but you will be able to download them at any time. And with that we finish this project. With the help of some basic tools you can do it in less than an hour. If you like this video hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends. My name is Adam and I'm gonna see you in the next one.